Well, at least the discussion got started when Theo posted on Twitter whether he should go to the React beta docs and submit a PR to remove the recommendation for Create React app. And while initially this kind of seemed like a typical kind of Theo prank, it actually triggered a lot of discussions. And so people chimed in on Twitter, like Matteo mentioned, like, hey, just go and do it. Or also Adam from Tailwind chimed in, where he mentioned that they actually already added a callout on their docs to not remove Create React App because it has issues with post CSS and doesn't actually work with Tailwind. So there was a lot of discussion going on, and there were also some other learnings there. But that aside, Theo actually went ahead and submitted a PR to the React beta docs suggesting to replace the Create React App recommendation with just Veed. And this triggered a lot of discussions, like a lot, as you can imagine. But they were actually pretty good. Like if you ignore all the kind of fuss in between, there were some good points that have been brought up. So developers chiming in there into the discussion were actually fully on board with removing the Create React App suggestion or at least downplaying it. But the main question is with what would you replace it? And that can be quite challenging because first of all, you don't want to suggest an inferior solution, but at the same time, you also don't necessarily want to push people immediately towards like a framework approach, like using Next.js or, Re or Remix, even though that might be something they want to go towards ultimately. But I'm also an educator and content creator. And so for learners that come to React, it should be simple. And so you don't want to overwhelm them immediately with a lot of different terminology they might not even know about. And that's actually what Create React App was, because they just went ahead and created a new React App. It worked, they could, they could serve it, they could build it, they could test it, and they could just focus on actually learning React itself. So replacing Create React App with a single tool might be actually quite challenging for the React team overall. So what you might probably want to do is suggest a couple of alternatives that are easy to get started with, but are also close enough to the Create React App ecosystem so people are not confused by it. So stick with me because I wanna show you something which is actually super close to Create React App. So I'm a co-contributor to NX, which is an open source dev tool already for years. And our mission is not really to push towards any framework like Next.js or Remix or whatnot, but rather we want to be the best development tool. And so we saw the whole issue around Create React App already a while ago. And so a couple of months, we actually sat down and created something that is very similar. So have a look. So we basically created a set of functionalities that allows you to create a new React application that is very similar to what Create React App provides you. So all you have to do is provide this preset React standalone. And so when you launch this, it asks you for the bundler. And while we recommend Vite as the default, simply because it's so modern and fast, you can totally also go with Webpack. So for the purpose of this one, let's go with Webpack so we are near the Create React App setup. And so what you get here is a setup that is very similar to what Create React App would provide you. So you have this source folder, there is already a component in there just so that we can have something as we surf the project. And to surf it, we simply do npm start, and this will open a Webpack server then and surf our app at 4200. And so everything works as usual. So we could go ahead and just customize this. Let's go here in the Annex Welcome component and say, hello there, great React app. If you switch back, obviously live refresh works and we see now the result here. And the same thing holds for running builds and testing. So you just run npm run build and similarly npm run test would run just test in this case to test your application. So what would happen if we choose Vite, which to be honest, is my preferred option. So if in the initial selection box we choose Vite, you would get the exact same code structure as we had before. So the same source folder, app folder here, but with the difference obviously that now we have Vite configured here. So how does the serving work? Exactly the same way. We just run npm start. Now you can see here Vite kicking in and it's super fast. And so again, if we switch to our browser, you can see here it's being served up. If we go to our Annex Welcome component here and add in here, create React app, Obviously the live refresh is the very same way. And also the building and testing works. So you can just run npm run build. This uses Vite now to build. And again, it's super fast. And also for the testing, it is set up to run Vite test. Again, super fast. So you can see the whole concept here is to have beginners jump in quickly. They can get started with something that is working, focus on actually learning React and then later dig into the underlying tooling and learn from how, for instance, Vite is being set up or what specific features Vtest gives them. 
And one big part of that learning process is also the fact that this setup comes with code generators. So for instance, what I can do here is in our Vite setup, go and add Tailwind for my project without actually having to know how to set that up. So I can just issue a command, which here is now react setup Tailwind. And so this here makes me choose the project, which in my case here is the my first React app. There's another product here, which is for end-to-end -end testing. And so this would now create the post CSS config for me. It would create a Tailwind config for me and set up the styles in a way that it works already with Tailwind. So again here, the whole purpose is to get people started quickly. And now one can go ahead and look at the Tailwind config and verify how that actually works. So how does the purging here work? How that has that been set up? What does the post CSS config look like? And they're just ready to go. So having seen that, I think that we can all agree with Theo there that using Create React App or suggesting Create React App as your choice in starting your React project in 2023 might not be the best way to go. It might be hard though for the React.js folks to just recommend, let's say, an X straight out of the box because they probably won't do that. What might be interesting though is having like a couple of choices. So maybe have three choices, which gives people a good start, a simple start, and something where they can kind of dive deeper as they might need some more complex situations, more complex toolings. So one thing before we leave, some people might watch this video and think about, oh, this actually looks pretty cool, but I'm already on a Create React App setup, so what do I do now? Well, check out the video he linked here because we have also provided a generator that allows you to completely re-migrate your existing Create React App project to a Vite-based setup. So check it out and I'll see you in the next one.